Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm doing a final walkthrough for my clients, brand new construction home over here at Talvona by Pulte Homes in the Sky Hills Master Plan community. Um, they got an awesome killer lot. Right now it's, you know, still kind of under construction, but I can't wait to show you how killer of a lot this is when we go in the backyard. So my clients, you know, Talvona, this community is actually sold out. The models are sold out. Um, pretty amazing how fast this community has sold. So this is the park lane floor plan at 2462 square feet. Uh, they went with the three bedroom option and a den, two and a half baths, and it's a three car garage, which is a two car garage tandem. We will look at the garage once we, you know, keep on looking. Now, when we do final walkthroughs on a new construction home, we do the walk with the builder or the construction manager, and we also do lots of blue tape where we see there's issues. And I like to just be blue tape heavy and blue tape the heck out of everything, right? So when you open the door, the nice feature is the tray ceiling, and they got the beautiful wood-like tile flooring throughout in this nice light color. And we're gonna go to the back of the house first and then look at everything else. So these feel like nine foot ceilings, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And my client really went with a lot of extra electrical package. So when you buy a new construction home, you'll pick your lot location and that lot will have a lot premium. And then you pick your structural options then you go to the design studio to pick up your upgraded options and also you have an electrical package, all right? So we're just gonna work our way around um, and point out all the features that my client added. They did get the upgraded baseboards. I think that's what, four inches? Yeah. Looks like four inch baseboards. And they got a lot of extra recessed lighting throughout and they also have it pre-wired for speakers. Um, and another added cost is the Smurf tubing, which is a great feature, and then some Cat 6s and the cable line. And I think they're getting this pre-wired for speakers as well. And the helm always comes with a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. But look how big this is. The Park Lane is Pulte's most popular floor plan. A lot of people like it. So then my clients went with the expanded island in a navy blue color with the honed gray a quartz countertops. And then they did the opposite color on, as in the back with the white shaker cabinets, all soft close cabinets, and that's an extra upgrade. And another upgrade, I have Damien kind of assisting me, is this feature as well as the pullouts. We highly recommend if you do buy a new construction home and this is offered to get it because a lot of my clients always look for that, right? Yeah, they do. Now, this has the upgraded kitchen aid appliance package where they're gonna have the cooktop and a stove right here, as well as the wall oven and a microwave. Uh, they went with a lot of, again, upgraded electrical with the um, LED lights underneath the cabinets. They went with the large single basin stainless steel sink, a nice KitchenAid dishwasher, that is pretty cool. And then right here is normally cabinets, but what they're going to do here is put a wine fridge right here. And another thing that I like about the park lane is the walk-in pantry. You know what? The model home at the park lane in Ascension the pantry wasn't this size. It was smaller, wasn't it? It was super small. Mm -hmm. It was like, it was like a in. fraction of the size. They just opened it and you could walk in. Yeah, look how big this pantry is. I wonder what happened. Must be, must be an, um, a structural option change or, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you buy new construction, the refrigerator and washer and dryer do not come with the house unless you spend extra money at the design studio. So we'll go take a look at the primary has this nice large dining area, again, extra recessed light, and pre-wire, you can put a ceiling fan or a chandelier right there. 
So when we do a walkthrough, we just tape the heck out of everything. Whenever we see an error or paint splotch, we just blue tape it all. And by the time on closing day, all this will be perfect. So here's the primary bedroom. And they got the upgraded, upgraded tray ceiling with four extra recess lights and uh, pre-wire for a ceiling fan. And also there's about three zones in this house. So there's a zone here, a zone in the great room and a zone in the back bedrooms. So it's a good size primary bedroom. The window's nice and big. I can't wait to show you the backyard. Is there a fan on? No. All right, here is the primary. And the nice thing with this house is they spend a lot of extra money on the flooring where the whole house has this wood-like tile flooring throughout, all the bedrooms, the closets, everything, which for resale purposes is a great feature to have because no one here in Las Vegas likes having carpet. Um, so now they went with the nice large spa shower. It's just the fan, I think, or something. Nope. And um, with the bench. Now, if you saw my video on Ascension, the Park Lane model, this is a standard feature for Pulte to put the shower head on the side, which to me does not make sense because the shower is gonna be hitting this glass all the time, right? Um, the rain head is an added feature, but this is not non-negotiable and it always goes there, which does not make sense. So it has the large double vanity with again, the same shaker cabinets and they got upgraded quartz for the countertops and they're going to do this is for their led lights they got their electrical yeah for that throne room. Throne room. then you have the walk-in closet and they opted out while well, they actually put a lot of outlets in here and they opted out for pulsey putting in their generic builder grade um, racks because they're going to have custom closets put in here. And I think they did add an extra recessed lighting. So let's go to the back and then we'll look at the, I mean, the front of the house and then we'll look at the backyard. This has a half bath. Just a simple half bath with a pedestal sink and they're gonna provide their own mirrors. And this has the den with the French door option, which I think is actually an upgraded option to have the French doors. And I love these linear windows, um, decent sized den. I like the size of it, it's very nice. So this is a three bedroom house with a den. We have the hall closet right here. Then you have the guest bathroom. And they went with the same navy, it looks like navy um, cabinets as the island with the quartz countertops. And they also are gonna get the LED lights right there. But they opted for the builder grade tub shower combination, which is perfectly fine. And I always recommend that. You know what, babe? Yeah. That looks, there's like a line there. Do you see it? I'm gonna get a tape for that. I okay. see it. So then here are, here is the linen closet. And here is the bedroom number two. All extra recessed lighting. I think they can have speakers in here, pre wire for a ceiling fan. And also, now this is something new that I learned. They moved the electrical panel. Instead of being in the laundry room, they moved it into this bedroom. So that's nice, the smart panel. That has a nice walk-in closet. And then here's bedroom number three. Decent size, again, extra recessed lighting, ceiling fans. Now this is not cheap to do all this electrical packaging. And the reason they decided to do it now is uh, because sometimes it's harder to get an electrician out and make holes and stuff. They felt it was better to have the builder do it from the onset. The terrible. Yeah, exactly. So now the laundry room is pretty big. It's actually very nice. 
And they're gonna use that to put a refrigerator. They got a lot of extra outlets, washer, dryer. And the garage. Let's open the door so we can get some light. This one is not a finished garage. All you have to do is get it painted. It's usually a little extra money when you have the garage finish. So let's go to the back. It's a three car tandem. And my clients opted to get this sink option in the garage. This is cool too. Yeah. As well as pre plumb for a water softener and the water heater, tankless water heater. Electrical sub panel, Rainbird. This is for your fire sprinklers and your main uh, water shut off. Let's go to the backyard. This door is dirty. Yes, this park lane is a very great floor plan. So I think sometimes the builders, either you have an option of doing the pavers or which I think is an upgraded option or doing the concrete slab. Uh, my client opted to have extra recessed lighting in here as well as a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Um, and this is at the end of the Talvona community. So they have view fencing. It's a decent lot and I'll show you why it's a very good lot. One, you have the park here, which is okay, but it's kind of hazy out, but you got unobstructed city views. Let me span it. Right here. If you were to buy a home in Summerlin, that lot premium would be a million dollars. They only paid maybe 40,000 for this lot premium over here. Phenomenal. And then you got a lot of the beautiful mountain backdrop I love Sky Hills. And then look how wide their yard is because they're at the end. So they don't have anyone to one side and behind them. They only have one person next to them. Mm -hmm. This is an all single story community, Talvona. Uh, again, by Pulte Homes in the Sky Hills Master Plan community. Stay tuned. I will be doing a video on Sky Hills. We've done a lot of drone footage and pictures of it. Um, so let us know in the comments what you think. But to summarize... This is the Park Lane floor plan at 2462 square feet, three bedrooms, a den, two and a half baths in a three car garage. I'm not gonna go over what they bought it for, <laughs> but if you are thinking about buying any new construction in the Las Vegas Valley, I am your new home sales expert. I sell a lot of new construction. Call me at 702. 370-5112. And if you own a park lane here in Vegas, let us know what you think of your beautiful park lane. Most importantly, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day.